you work as an attorney for the EFF. Yes, I'm a senior staff attorney at the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And you guys recently released a set of guidelines for um, people regarding uh, search and seizure of their uh, cell cellular devices um, and smartphones and so forth, which I think is um, sort of really aptly timed given um, a lot of the Occupy Wall Street sort of movement and stuff that's, ha that's happening right now. Um, so I wanted to ask you a couple of questions sort of around this. Um, like, if you are sort of out um, protesting or participating in this movement and uh, someone asks you, like a law enforcement officer asks you uh, for your uh, cell phone and asks you to unlock it, um, what, what are your sort of uh, rights in, in this situation? So as a, as a general matter, if uh, the police want to search a phone or other device that you have, mm -hmm. uh, they have to get a warrant. Um, but there are some exceptions to that rule. So for example, if you're getting arrested um, in some places, the courts have decided that um, the police can uh, search your phone incident to arrest. Um, but if they don't arrest you uh, and they just ask you uh, for your phone, then uh, you're not required to turn it over. And um, you can politely decline if you want to. In the event that you do get arrested um, and the police ask you for your phone and ask you to unlock it, um, how, how should you proceed in this situation? What are your rights? Well, um, as, as a general matter, you have a, a right to remain silent once you've been arrested and you have a right to speak to a lawyer. And so I think the best thing to do is to uh, talk to a lawyer before you agree to give anything over to the police that they might be asking you for in terms of information. Um, you may very well have a Fifth Amendment right um, against self-incrimination that uh, might protect you from um, having to turn over a password, but it's best to check with a lawyer about your particular situation. So to sum that up, you can invoke your right to remain silent and ask to speak to an attorney prior to unlocking the device? Um, well, I, I would say that you know, anytime the police uh, are asking you questions, uh, you know, be it to turn over information uh, about unlocking your cell phone or anything else, um, you, you should say that uh, you would like to speak with a lawyer before you answer any questions. Um, that is uh, you know, something that the courts recognize you can do once you've been arrested. And um, you know, I, I think that that's the safest way to go there. Excellent. Do you have any general advice for people who might be going to marches or protests or are thinking of occupying or are, you know, in, in those types of situations? Yep. There are lots of things you can do to uh, protect your phone before you ever get to um, a protest. Uh, first of all, think about uh, not taking your phone at all if you don't need it. If you think that it's likely you might get arrested, maybe it's better to just leave it at home. Um, and in that case, you might consider thinking about who the lawyer is you'd want to call if you uh, end up getting arrested and have that person's name and phone number written on your arm so that you'll have it with you um, if you find yourself in that spot. Um, if you do want to take your phone, um, consider uh, um, restricting access to it through a pen so that if the police uh, want to search it, there's that, that extra little uh, layer of security in there. Um, and also there are applications that you might be able to use to um, encrypt data on your phone, depending on what type of phone you have. Um, Android, for example, um, has lots of applications available for it that protect data in various ways. So that's certainly worth checking out. <laughs> what if you're in the situation where the police want to question you, but don't want to arrest you? Well, if the police come up to you on the street and they're just asking you questions, um, you don't have to answer their questions if you don't want to. You have a right to, uh, to remain silent, which um, you have even before you get arrested. And so um, if you feel that uh, you don't want to answer their questions, you certainly don't have to do that. Excellent. Thank you.